Hello everybody, I'm Crump and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be finding all the medium markers and find the markers. So in part one of this, we found all the easy markers over here. But in today's video, we're going to be finding all the medium markers. So before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. And let's start our first marker, the bendy straw marker, forest biome fall off. Let's get it. So we're walking to the back of the forest biome and... As you can see, there's like this little pond here, and right here, as you can, it's hard to see a little, but there's like a little hole, and that's what you have to fall through to get the bendy straw marker, so, alright. First attempt, let's try this. Alright, let's go, we got it that time, and the bendy straw marker, that's actually good. First attempt, okay, um, so yeah, the bendy straw marker, so the next one is the blue marker behind a hill, so let's get that. Okay, so to get the blue marker, you're gonna go up here. And now you're going to get on this um, tree and walk across this thing. It's a little hard to, it's not that hard to do it actually, but now you're going to walk over here and go over here, right near the mountain biome actually. So yep, the blue marker right there. So the next marker is the box marker. Find the key to the storage closet. So let's get that. So the storage closet thing is in the factory. So if you go over here right now, as you can see, the store, the storage closet is closed. But if we go inside of here, right here, the key. So if we pick it up, now the door to the closet should be opened. Yep, it is opened. And you're going to go. So if you can see right here, it is the box marker. Okay, so the next one is the brick marker. So let's go get that. Okay, so to get the brick marker, you're going to go in the house. And you're actually going to go in the fire where the fire marker is. And now you're going to go back here. And now you are outside on the chimney, and if you fall off, you can see the brick marker right there. So, come on, can we get it? Come on, and come on. All right, let's go, the brick marker. So, the next one is the capitalist marker. He's on the edge of the map, but where? So, where? it's in the mountain biome, so let's go over there. So, the capitalist marker is at the edge of the map in the mountain biome. So, if you go to this tree and this rock over here, and you see this little ledge, there is the capitalist marker right there. So, let's see, can we jump up and get it? Yep, the capitalist marker. So, the next one is the Katso marker. So, laugh clip. So, actually, to get this, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the chat and um, click slash E laugh. Then you're going to type it in and you get teleported here and you get this. It's the Katso marker. So, the next one is the cheese marker. So, it's actually pretty cool. So to get this, you're going to have to go to the factory biome. So we're in the factory biome, and if you jump into this hole, you can go over, you fall into here. And if you go over here to this rocket, we are now inside of Mars. Okay, so if you go over here, you see this arrow. So what you're going to do is, oh, so what you're going to do is you literally just jump off. And then you go into here, it's really cool, but you're going to go to the moon, and it's right here. Oh, look, yeah, there's also, you can jump high with the gravity, or no gravity, and here is the cheese marker. So the next one is the chocolate marker. What else is chocolate? So that's in the Candyland biome, so let's go over there. Okay, so... Ooh! Wait, what? We just got it like that? Okay. Yay, the chocolate marker. Okay, so next one is the cobblestone marker in the washable kingdom, so we're gonna get that at the end. So we're at the mountain biome, and we're actually like kind of behind it where we got the capitalist marker. If you jump on this and go through this little hole crack kind of thing, you get the cork marker. So the next one is the crayon. She's in the corner of a biome, so let's get that. Okay, so we're in the abandoned village um, place, and if you go right here and you fall through... Alright, boom, the crayon... Okay, so can we get out? Okay, so the next one is the cyan marker behind a tree, so let's get that. So to get the cyan marker, you're going to go to the cave, but like back here, you can see this tree, and it is behind this tree, the cyan marker. So the next one is the dark green marker uh, underwater, so let's get that. So if you go underwater, you can see here, um, you, there's a hole kind of. And we're in the sewers, and I think it's this, yep, the dark green marker. So the next one is the ecosystem marker. This is one of my favorite markers to get, maybe my favorite um, medium marker to get, so let's get it. Okay, so we're underwater, and I think this is like the first quest marker, so if you go over and just click the question mark. Um, I need your help, um, my fishes keep escaping their bubbles, sure. 
Okay, all right, now, all right, yep, just don't let them escape. So now, if we find a fish, they go in their bubble. So here is what, we have to find all of the fish. So here's the red fish. You have to click on them. Come on. Oh, let's go, I got it. Okay, so the next one is, all right, we can get this one over here. So, come on, all right, we got it. Now let's get this one over here. What? Okay, finally we got that. That took forever. All right, here's this fish, the purple fish or blue fish, I don't know. Come on, all right, what? All right, let's go. How many more do we have left? We just have the orange, yellow, and green left. So, ooh, the green one just came out. Come on, come on, come on, let me get you. All right, now the orange one. Um, all right, come on. What? How did I not get it right there? Okay, got it. And where is the last one? It's the yellow one, I think. Oh, right there. Oh, I see you. It's hiding. Don't hide. Come on, come on. What? Don't hide. And bang, we got all of them. So now let's go back to the marker. And as you can see, we have all of them in, so if we go, nice work, you may collect me now. Now we can get it, the ecosystem marker. So the next one is the feta cheese marker in the Candyland biome, so let's get that. Okay, so we're in the Candyland biome, so what you're going to do, it's very easy to get. You're just going to go over here, and, uh, yep, you can go through this crack a little, I guess, and you just keep walking in, yet you get the feta cheese marker, so now let's get out, okay. So the next one is the flamingo marker, so let's get that. Okay, so to get the flamingo marker, you're going to go over here in the snow biome, and I think you fall through here. Yep, and then you fall there, and right here, the flamingo marker. So the next one is the golden marker in the factory biome, so let's get it. So the golden marker is not actually in the factory biome, it's like just outside of it. So if you go over here now, jump off, and just keep going straight, and see this like gold plate? You go over here, and the golden marker. So the next one is the gray marker. Collecting dusk must be in an attic, so let's get that. So we're at the top with all the boxes in um, the shop. And if you climb up here and go here, to, it's like the next attic up here. And it is the gray marker. So the next one is the greedy marker. He's where the money is. So if you click this button right here, you can kind of see him right there, really tiny. But you get him the greedy marker so the next one is the hammer marker hidden in the abandoned city so let's get that okay so we're right here in the abandoned city and if you go over here into this house and you go up um so if you step on this hammer you get teleported here and the hammer marker so the next one is the khaki marker something is miscolored what is it so it's actually at spawn and as you can see there's a bunch of trees but one of them is right here, a bit lighter colored. So you just jump in it, you get teleported here, and the khaki marker. So the next one is the leaf marker, exactly where you expect a leaf, so let's get it. So we're actually on the roof of this house, and to get it, um, we're going to go and jump on this tree, then this one, and then get on this and the leaf marker. So the next one is the licorice marker. He's upside down, it's in the Candyland biome, so let's get it. So we're up here in the Candyland biome, and what you're going to do is you're going to go up here. But you're actually not going to go down on the slide. You're going to try and land on the lollipop. So can we walk off? And, oh, we just did. And here's the licorice marker hanging up. And let's go, the licorice marker. So next one is the lily pad marker in the washable kingdom. We'll get that later. Next is the lime marker at spawn. So let's get it. Okay, so to get the lime marker, you're going to go to, like, the exit over here with the cave. But if you go here, it's kind of hard to see. We kind of can see this outline. And if you fall through the lime marker. So the next one is the marker under the map. So let's get that. Okay, so to get the marker, um, you're going to go over here to the back of the map. And um, you're going to go past the pur purple block. And if you can see, there's this arrow pointing down. So what you're going to do is you're going to jump off. And right here is the marker. And then you just fall off. So next one is the Martian marker. Go to space and I'll show you how to get. So we're in the factory biome. We're going to jump down here to get the Martian marker. And we're going to go to space. So to get the Martian marker, you're going to go to the rocket. Or actually go over here. And you see this like place. It's hard to explain. But whatever that is, I don't even know. So if you see this like red clump. I think the Martian marker is in there. 
Oh, never mind. I thought it was in there. It's actually out there. It's the Martian marker. So the next one is the mint marker. So let's get that. But before we actually get that, I accidentally got the rocket marker. So um, where is the ship? So I accidentally got it. Um, it's right over here. So yeah, it's right here. It is the rocket marker. Yep, it says I already have the rocket marker. I accidentally did get it, but that's just how you get it, just so you know. So the next one is the mint marker, so let's get it. So if you go to, like, the part where the abandoned city and snow biome meet, and you see these rocks, if you just walk into here, yep, the mint marker. So the next one is the mushroom marker in the washable kingdom. Next one is the oil marker, somewhere you put fuel, so let's get it. So the fuel marker is actually also in Mars, so if you climb up this and you keep going up, you fall through and the oil marker. So the next one is the olive marker in the abandoned city biome, so let's get it. So we're in the abandoned city biome, and if you go to the um, last one on the right, right here, and you climb up the stairs and go here, it says, caution, wet floor, but you get the olive marker. So the next one is the orange marker at spawn. All right, so we're at spawn to get the orange marker. And if you go to like the entrance where the clock tower is and go to the right of it, you can actually go through here and we got the orange marker. So the next marker is the pink marker, Mountain Obby. So let's do that. So we started the Mountain Obby. And if you go here um, and go here and climb up this and get on this, okay? Now what you're going to do is go up this and then go here. And what you're going to do is you're going to get on this and the pink marker. So the next one is the played marker in the shop biome, so let's get it. So if we climb up here and I think it's this or no, it's uh which one is it this one i think we fall through yep the played marker so the next one is the platinum marker so let's get that so if you go down here it's in the sewers with the dark green marker but if you keep going you're gonna go over here and if you go in this box you or the fridge i guess metal i don't know what that is but the platinum marker and now we're back so the next one is the primrose marker which is in the washable kingdom so we're gonna get the Oh, the princess is also the rainbow marker is in the mountain biome. But before we get that, let's get the teenage mutant ninja marker because it is right here. So yeah, right here the teenage teenage mutant ninja marker. So the next one is what is it? The rainbow marker. So let's get it. So to get the rainbow marker, you're actually gonna have to complete the whole obby of um, the mountain biome obby. So we're gonna complete it right now. We're at the part where you get the pink marker, but to complete it, you're gonna go over here, and now what you're gonna do is. Uh, drop off here now you're gonna get on this and you're gonna go over here and the rainbow marker so the next one is the realistic marker behind a structure with something deceiving so let's get it so to get the realistic marker you're gonna go to the abandoned city and go between these two houses and if you go here it says no way but if you actually go inside you get the realistic marker so the next one is the um, rock marker, and I accidentally got that um, trying to get a different marker. I don't know what, but if you go to this rock over here, right here, it is the rock marker. So the next one is the rust marker in the sewer, so let's get that. So when they say the sewers, you might think it's the place where you get the platinum marker, but really, it's in the place you go to space, but right here, the sewer, and it is right, it's hard to see, but the rust marker. And, but if you go here, you are in this sewer, you fall through that. So the next one is the salmon marker, the desert biome, so let's go. So we're going up to the top of the temple. So, but if you fall through here, this one, you go inside and it is the salmon marker. So the next one is the sand marker, also in the desert, so let's get it. So to get the sand marker, you go inside the temple. Then what you're going to do is go through this um, little corner crack. And then I think it's this one, the sand marker, yep. So the next one is the sand storm marker at the top. So it's gonna go, so we're gonna go where we got the salmon marker. So we're at the place we got the sand marker at the top and you can see this like ladder up here. So can we get on top? Okay, we got up, okay. And now you go to the top, we go to here and it is this sand storm marker. So the next one is the serenity marker in the difficulty dimension. So we'll also get that at the end. So the next one is the smoke marker. So let's go get that. So we're right here, right um, on top of this, like near the factory. Um, 
And if you go to like the back, you can actually climb up or jump up on this. And you're going to climb up this one, then get on this, and then get on this. You get teleported, and you get the smoke marker. So the next one is the space marker, fall off the planet. So that's in Mars, so let's go. So we're in Mars, and we're going to go to the place where, um, where you jump off and where we got the moon marker. So now we're going to go it's right here, the space marker. So the next one is the Starker. Go inside the testing device. So let's get that. So this is the testing device for the Starker. So you go inside here and it's right there. So I think you go through here. But then you go this way. Yep. And then you go into this place. It says danger, but nothing's dangerous here. And you get, oh, we didn't get it. The Starker marker right here. Okay. So next one is the static marker, so it's in the Candyland biome, so let's get that. So you're in Candyland biome, you're going to go to the place where Gingerbread House is, and as you can see, the TV is moving. When it goes to, like, static, you click on it. Scary to click on it. Okay, and boom, we clicked it, and here, the static marker. So the next one is the triple scoop marker, which is also here in the Candyland biome. So let's go over here and... Okay, get up here. So now we go up here. We're going to go to the place with the slide, but we're not going to go down the slide. We're going to go over here, and if we uh, fall down here, okay, now we get up, and you can go inside here, the triple scoop marker. So next one is the white marker, so let's go get that. So to get the white marker, you're going to go to the place where you go to space, but you're not actually going to go in the rocket. It is right here, the white marker. What, where can we get it? The white marker, okay. So the next one is the wood marker, so let's go get it. Okay, so to get the wood marker, you're going to go to the mountain biome and see this tree right here. Well, it is the wood marker. So the next one is the Zanwood marker, so let's go over there. So to get the Zanwood marker, you're going to go to the base plate. And if you see this, like, triangular thing, if you fall through, you get the Zanwood marker. So the next, or no, all of them we've gotten except the ones in the... Uh, washable kingdom and difficulty dimension so let's go to the washable kingdom to get some markers so if you don't know or don't remember to go to the washable kingdom you go behind the clock tower so get up and then you go to the front of the clock tower and you climb up and you get sent so the first one in the washable kingdom is the cobblestone marker so we're going to go to the place where the archer marker is you're going to go to like the back of the castle and if you see here you kind of can like go down and you're going to keep walking straight until you get there it is the cobblestone marker so the next one is the lily pad marker so look for something that isn't like the others so as you can see one of them has the flower so if you jump on the flower you go here the lily pad marker so the next one is the mushroom marker so let's get it so to get the mushroom marker you're gonna jump on this lily pad then you're gonna go through here and bam we got that and the mushroom marker so the next is the primrose marker. So you're going to go over to the shop area. Go to this house. You see um, the primrose marker hidden right here. The primrose marker. Now the next is the princess marker. She's hiding, so let's get her. So the princess marker, yep, it's just in here if you walk through there. And now we have every single medium marker except one more. The serenity marker in the difficulty dimension. So we're going to go back to the normal lobby, and then I'll show you how to get there. So we're going to go for the last marker, the serenity marker. So as you see where the eggs are and stuff. So what you're going to do, um, if you remember, or if you watched the uh, how to get all the easy markers, you got this, and you go in this room, and there's a code. So if you go to the, what is it, last one, so, uh, serenity marker, difficulty. So you're going to type in difficulty. So D I F F I C u l t y enter and we're getting teleported into the difficulty dimension so with this really hard obby but to get the serenity marker just walk away from all the anger so it literally just means walk backwards and you're going to keep walking backwards so you go over here it's really really cool but you go to this like temple and it is right here the serenity marker and now we have all the medium markers and find the markers. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and stay tuned for part 3, how to get all the hard markers. But that's going to be it for today's video. Bye!